Então, um, let's look at the results right away. Let's see how difficult it was. I find I actually found it quite difficult when I tried it myself. Yeah. All right, some things were very difficult. Um, well, it's average difficulty. So let's see what we get. <laughs> Nobody was correct in question number eight. Okay, that's fine. So, um, leader stole a gem. And the peacock and the monkey. So a king came to our island. Bupalo amhakan dipang agachi. Uh, my hung and uh, my hung cannot be because as soon as it is not genitive, as soon as it's not the first uh, first case, uh, it will not start by M. So that way you know that it can be either B or C. Amhe, however, is a locative where, so it cannot be Amhe. And so we know question B is correct. A leader stole a gem from me, the difficult one. So... Um, I'm not exactly sure what's difficult on this one. Um, Mama Manning Joresi, maybe that's where it got wrong. But we are talking about this almost every week, it seems to me. Uh, he stole a gem from me. It doesn't mean that it's mine. It means that he stole a gem from me. This uh, question is actually based on a story in our scriptures. In our scriptures... Uh, in our scriptures, uh, we see that uh, there is a uh, there is a person who makes uh, jewels. What is he called? Um, you know, a person, a gem cutter. Let, let's call him the the gem cutter. And uh, he got some diamond, and he had to cut the diamond. Okay, the diamond was owned by the king, so it, it was not owned by the gem by the gem cutter. And um, one day a monk came for Armstrong and the gem cutter asked the monk to wait for the meal while the monk was waiting in the house. And the monk was waiting at the place where the uh, diamond cutter had the diamond. Unfortunately, at that moment from the window came a bird and the bird uh, liked that diamond and ate it. And then the bird left. Now, if the monk told to the to the diamond cutter that the bird ate that uh, diamond, then the diamond cutter would always, of, of course, uh, get the bird and kill the bird. So out of compassion uh, to the bird, when the diamond cutter came and um, uh, when the diamond cutter came, and uh, saw that the, the, the diamond is gone, he asked the monk whether uh, where is the diamond. And the monk uh, was silent. So the diamond cutter thought, aha, so the monk stole the diamond. So the, uh, so the diamond cutter started to beat and hit, you know, the monk. Because he thought that the monk stole the diamond. So, of course, that makes sense. But the monk also could not say anything because if he says something, then the diamond cutter will kill the bird. 
you see? It's a difficult situation. And then as the, uh, as the uh, somehow, I'm not sure whether this story is true because it's so weird. As the uh, diamond cutter was hitting the monk, the bird came and unintentionally the diamond cutter hit the bird. Okay, the diamond cutter hit the bird and the, and the bird, I don't know, somehow uh, the bird, uh, I think, vomited the diamond or something happened. But at that time, it was too late because uh, the monk was already, you know, uh, injured too much. And uh, so the diamond cutter found out, aha, uh -huh, so the bird stole the, stole the diamond and the monk did not want to tell me because he knew that if he tells me, I will kill the bird. So the diamond cutter was very sad and he was born in hell. Whereas the monk for following the rules was of course born in heaven. <laughs> so this is a, this is actually a favorite story of Tipitakadhara Yossi Adam. Okay. So um, whenever we uh, see very clearly that somebody has caused something evil, uh, we are not supposed to hit them anyway. Because maybe we are wrong in the end. You see, and the diamond cutter was 100% sure that it was right. Because all the evidence was there. Hey, the monk was in the room. There was my diamond, the, the king's diamond. And the diamond is lost. So there is only one thing that could happen. That is the monk must have stolen the diamond. It's 100% sure. There's no other option from the diamond cutter's point of view. So this is how we live. We live the way that we make judgments without sufficient data. So whatever is the judgment, whatever is the evidence, we never hit, we never harm another person. That's the main point of the story. And this, uh, this question is, uh, is um, made uh, inspired by that, except that I use here a leader uh, instead of a uh, bird, which I could. So a leader stole a gem from me. Okay, we could say that the gem cutter, the diamond cutter could call the monk as the leader, but I could use monk. In, actually, I think monk is in, is in the later, is in the later, like, uh, later exercise, not here yet. So a monk stole a gem from me. That's what the diamond cutter thought. Okay, but the gem was not the diamond cutter's gem. It was the king's gem. So you cannot really see, uh, you cannot really say, Bhikkhu mama maning jorese, because it would be wrong. It's not his gem. It is the king's gem. So you must say, Bhikkhu maya maning jorese. Okay. The uh, monk stole the gem from me. Okay, so here, uh, the peacock, moro, mayuro, siki, siki are actually all four are correct. Uh, the monkey, vanaro, and kapi are both correct. So this doesn't really tell, these first three words doesn't, don't tell us at all which, ver which version is correct. Amhakang. Amhakang and amhe, yes, that helps. Amhakang means from us. Um, yes, of us, sorry, of us. Whereas Amhe means in us, so or on us, that's wrong. So either A or B. And Aga Ching So Aga Chimha. So Aga Chimha means we went. Aga Ching So means they went. So only this option is correct. Uh, so yes, the rest is the same. Leper, my son, a millionaire. So Kuti is the same. My hang mama are both the same uh, word. Siki and seti. So siki is the peacock. Seti is the millionaire. So either this, either C or D. And uh, then a mama or my hang is the same thing. Geha, gehamha is also the same thing. So gachisanti is the same thing. The real difference is here at the end. Pasisanti or pasisanti. So it's the basis something which is correct.
an instructor and advisor. This one was very difficult. I myself got wrong in here when I checked the test. So Vineta Chasaptaja. Oh, I see. Here was the problem I wanted to correct. All right. So Vineta Chasaptaja. Vineta Chasaptaja. Vinyatu Satuche would be Vinyatu is it's this instructor and advisor are very confusing words. Uh, but um, if we take it um, by grammar, uh, then we will see that either satache, vinetache, or vinetache, satache could be correct. And sotanang, uh, sotaranang uh, is both correct, but satache, uh, vinetache, better indeed is vineta, instructor, somebody who, um, it seems that here instructor is the technical term for uh, somebody who is instructing you the rules, the monastic rules. And advisor is somebody who teaches you Dhamma. It's more uh, more like the uh, advisor would be like the Upadjaya in Burmese Upize, and uh, instructor would be the Acharya, Asarya. Okay, so uh, Acharya and uh, Upadjaya, this is how I understand the English words, and probably that's what's meant, because Vineta is exactly what it is. Acharya is uh, commonly meant as the one who teaches you the Vineta rules. Satta, uh, your preceptor, the one who is your main teacher, is your Dhamma teacher. So, Vineta, Che Satta, Che Sota, Nang Dhammang Anesu. You could also say Vineta, Che Satta, Che Sota, Nang Dhammang Anesu. We cut the trees on the mountain, they hit us. So, mang is the same thing. Girimhi or girisme, it's the same thing. Taru or taravo is the same thing. So, we are looking here at chindingsu or chinding, chinding, chindimha. Chindimha means we cut. Chindingsu means they cut. So, uh, chindimha, here, so B or D. And then... Amhe or Maya. So again, we get this we problem. As soon as it is not uh, not genitive, and here it is accusative, uh, then it cannot start by letter M. So it must be Amhe, B. The happy people will give food to monks. Sukino, and here uh, we have a difference in the bhikkhu. So bhikkhu nang, two monks or four monks. All right, Bhikkuhi means among monks. Uh, sorry, Bhikkuhi uh, means of monks. Bhikkusu means among monks. Bhikkunang means of monks. So, yes, uh, two, uh, four monks. Yes, so A or D are correct. But uh, then we get this problem. Das Santi means they see. That is Santi means they will give. So only option A is correct. My relative's grandson is a knower of snake. We corrected it. Uh, we corrected this together uh, when this was uh, appearing the first time about a month ago. So, my hang banduna natta. This is a little difficult. Why not banduno? So, um, banduna is not correct. It must be banduna for the bandhu, uh, for the, uh, I think it's natu, uh, natu. To um, noun, noun group, so bandhu, uh, so of of the grandson will have to be uh, sorry of uh, of my relative will have to be bandhuna. So this was very difficult. I myself got wrong here. I thought bandhuna is right. No, no, bandhusa would be if it is a different noun group, and uh, the correct one indeed is bandhuno, bandhuno natta. Bhoginang, bhogihi. So bhogihi means among the snakes. Bhoginang, sorry, so bhogihi means of snakes, yes, and bhoginang would be from snakes. Vinyata, uh, because it's the noun group of natu, then it must, uh, then in the, in the nominative case, it must be vinyata. So, netara sadhing. This I found 
this is very important. As soon as you have something with, you need to use an instrumental. So netu would not work. So bhupalo netara, either A or C. And then uh, we get sattavo or sattana. So sattana would be correct if it is a different noun group. But because it is the noun group of sat, uh, sattu, uh, it has to be sattavo. Sattana would be uh, that he uh, that he uh, hit uh, living beings, satta. But we are talking here about enemies. So we need to use a different noun group declension. And therefore, it is sattavo. So thanks to this grammatical uh, role, we are able to distinguish satta from sattu. Okay, last one. Your young ones will steal our teachers and father's sugar cane. So tumha kang or tumhe. Uh, tumhe and tumha kang are the same thing, so this doesn't help. Susava or susavo. Susava would be if it is a different noun group, like the first noun group, like suso, then you would say susava, uh, susavo, then the plural would be susava. But um, because it is susu, it's a different noun group, you need to use susavo for the accusative. And sorry for the nominative, susavo. Amhakang means our sattarana. Uh, it's still the same. So, satunang satarana. So, satunang satunang satarana. Pitunang pitarana. Should be the same thing. Uchavo uchu. Chore santi. Satunang satarana. Is it the same thing? Pitahi is definitely wrong. That's clear. So we are looking at A and D, Satuhi Satarana, Pituhi Pitarana. I think Satuhi and Pituhi are locative. So we get only either this one or this one, and because uh, this is the susava is wrong, then we know that A is right. This one was a little confusing. All right, so this is as much as I can do. Uh, let me see if uh, I have missed something or something was uh, strange or confusing or if you disagree with something. We are getting into a little bit difficult level. So um, I definitely can be wrong and I'll be happy if we all join our forces and uh, do our best together. I see we are again dwindling in numbers. So we had seven people answering the test. Seven people were answering the test. We had only three here or four. Yes, uh, we had Tim and Tom. This review of the, the lesson number eight. Uh, question, uh, even question number, uh, question number exercise, eight. Exercise number eight. Uh, exercise number eight, yes. That's the previous exercise, right? Or you mean in the Exercise number eight in the book. Yeah, in the I book. see. Yes. What do you see there? Uh, translate into English. Uh, the, the the sentence number four. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll try. Okay. Let, let's look at that. Ganino Sukino Bhavisati. Yes, Bhavisanti. 
So those who have a retinue will become those who are happy. And what is difficult? Yeah. Uh, why is this in this sentence maybe you have not nominal nominative? Uh, and why, why is why we we don't use um, accusative? Yeah, uh, uh, accusative. Um, yeah. Because they will become that as soon as they will become that. There is nobody who would do something, so they just become. So we do not use accusative for the word become, and not even in other languages. Yeah. We use nominative. So, um, for example, I uh, become um, uh, I become a king. So I will become a king. So here, the king uh, is uh, must be uh, must be in nominative. And uh, even if I take it in Czech language, it's the same. So please um, continue with the sentence number fourteen. In, in this translation, yes, Settino Malino Passisanti. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, yes, this one is a little bit difficult. Malino. So, the you mean the rich ones will see those who have garlands? One who has a garland, that's right. So, actually, the nominative and the accusative are exactly the same. So, their settino malino passisanti is still correct because Malino is both nominative as well as accusative. Okay, any more question? Yes, Manuela. You're muted. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. I have a, a question on uh our quiz uh related to my relative grandson. I want to check again with the uh noun group for the one that we all go through. Nice. My relative grandson, and in that one, um, I want to check uh what is the the noun group for bandu. Bandu. Which, yeah, which group that you are using? Because I'm a bit confusing. Uh, bandu. I see. I think bandu is in exercise seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, here, here. Yes. So it should be Banduno or Bandusa. Why when we choose Banduna as a genitive? Yes, that's a good question.
Okay, so probably that's the way you do that. Okay, so uh, that means I was wrong, so it must be bound to know. Um, I'm wondering uh, whether there is actually any correct answer at all. So it will have to be, because you need to have vinyata, right? So then this will have to be probably better. Mayang bandhuno natta bhogi hi vinyata atti. Do you agree with that now? Yes. <laughs> now it seems better? Okay. Yes. Mayang bandhuno natta bhogi hi. And would it be bhogi hi or bhogi na? Yeah, it should be... Uh, uh... Boginan, right? Then the second one is the closest form. The second one. Oh, well, um, the, they're all wrong, so it's difficult. There has no answer, but I think uh, the second option is the closest answer. Uh, yeah, but you need to have vinyata. So um, what do you think about this option D? So we are now uh, looking at this bhogina. Uh, so we want to have genitive of that plural. Bhogi. A key. Here it is. So a genitive. Yes, bhogina. So it must be bhogina. Not bhogi here is wrong. And it must be vinyata, cannot be vinyata. Because uh, this is in the nominative, it is vinyata. We were already talking about this during a, uh, a previous a previous meeting. So if you if we take this vinyata, here you have vinyatu. In the nominative, it is vinyata. Can you see it? Yes. So now, do you agree with option D? Yes, yes. Okay. This one was probably one of the most difficult questions in this test. So I need to correct the, the previous test as well. Any more question? Any more concern? Yes, uh, Tanban. Oh, you're muted. You're muted. You're. You need to unmute. Cannot. Cannot hear. Cannot hear. Need to mute. Unmute. Yeah, dear Bante, um, uh, please tell to me how to learn more effective because every day I learn uh, and do exercise. But when uh, I um, do the test, I, I know that I don't, uh, don't, don't remember all things. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it is 
too difficult for me to learn uh, some Japanese. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I can't remember all the, all the what I, uh, I learned. <laughs> I realized, yes. Yes. So uh, do you remember that I sent um, a suggestion that you use the Anki software? Did you already try the software called Anki? Oh. It's an application. It is very expensive in iPad, but it's totally free for Windows. So um, it's like very expensive in iPads, but in computer, it's totally free. It's entirely free. So, uh, so you can, uh, uh, I'll show you how, how Anki looks like, how it works. So in Anki, uh, you need to create a new deck. All right. And then uh, when you create new deck, uh, then uh, you need to give it some name. And then, uh, for example, let's do it with Bali. And uh, you need to uh, use this button called add. So then you just add in front. I suggest to use English and then at the back use Bali. And then you use the button add uh, so that you see another, you know, so that you can add a new word. And then again, you click add and add and add and so on. So then you will get words here. So uh, each day you will get some new words and some old words to repeat. So because I have already learned all of the new words, now it's only asking me to repeat things. So then I can click on study now and it will show me the the english sentence now i have to think in my mind what is the pali sentence okay so for example i will say amaha kang pitaro um wow i forgot it amaha kang pitaro uh sattu nang setavo uh aneso okay and i see amaha kang pitaro sattu nang ketavo so I was wrong. I said setavo, which means the bridges, but actually correct is ketavo, which are the flags. So that means I was wrong. And therefore, I will say again. Here is a button called again. All right. So I will click on the button again, and I will get another sentence. The merchant sold trees to the Lord. The Lord will build a bridge. So again, in my mind, I will be thinking about the, uh, about the, Translation. So, vani jo, um, tar uh, vani jo, uh, patissa uh, taravo vikini, uh, pati setum uh, karissa. So, let's see what we get. Vani jo samino taravo vikini, sami setum karissa. Now, because samino and, uh, um, yes. But I did not use the correct, I said pati, but I did not use the correct, uh, the correct case. So again, I was wrong. So I have to click again. Now I will, uh, in this case, I have just one word. It's a little easier. So I know that peacock is siki or mayuro or moro. Okay, moro. So siki, mayuro, moro. Am I right? Mora, Mayura, Siki. Yes, I'm right. I didn't say the noun declensions, but um, I decided that this is not important and it was actually correct. And when it is correct, I can decide how correct was I. What Did I find it hard to be correct? Or did I find it fine, nothing special? Or was it actually easy for me? Now, if I find it easy for me, like this one was easy for me, then I click on easy and I will see it again after 10 days. If I repeat every day, okay, so this means 10 days, this means less than 10 minutes. So I will click on the 10 days and, uh, and uh, that means that th that word will show up to me again after 10 days. Now, what you can do is uh, you can also change the options. So if you go to Pali here, then here you have these and this options button. 
And in the options, you can decide how many cards you want to learn maximum. If you add, for example, new 50, 50 cards, do you want to learn all 50 cards that day? Or do you want to learn 20 today, 20 tomorrow, and 10 on the day after tomorrow? You can decide. Or do you want to learn 25 today and 25 tomorrow? You can decide. That's this number, new cards a day, maximum cards that you want to learn. If you added new cards, you see I didn't add new cards, so this is not really, really relevant to me. Then as you add words, some of the words actually you may find very easy. You added them, but they're actually easy. So then you will have their button, it is easy. So you click the button and it will appear again after five days. However, if you did not find it easy, you will find it again after one day. Then reviews. So this is when you already have uh, move the card from new cards into old cards. So that means when you say that you know, yes, like uh, repeat it tomorrow or easy five days, well, then it becomes the repeated word. It's no more new for you. So then the repetition uh, frequency we decide here. So do you want to repeat 50 words every day? Or do you want to repeat 100 words every day or 20 words every day? You can decide here. And um, if you know very well a word, how far from now would you like to uh, send it? So do you want to see it again, if you know it, after 10 days or after 15 days or after five days? That's what you decide here, maximum interval. So for example, if you know the word very well, you say, okay, I know it very well. And I want to repeat it after as long time as possible because I just know it so well. So I'm sure I will not forget it within two weeks. So then you say, okay, so let's repeat it after 14 days. All right. So then all the words that you know will be coming again after 14 days from the day that you have said 14 days. Repeat after 14 days. Okay. The rest is actually a little complicated even for me. Uh, then uh, what is very interesting here in Anki is that you can go to the statistics. All right. And in the statistics, you will see how many, uh, how many things did you learn. So it's a little complicated, though. So here we uh, see some, uh, some graphs. From here, you see how many words altogether you have. So altogether, I have there 214 words and sentences in this collection for Pali. I have other collections where I have thousands, but that's not poly language, that's something else. So uh, here we see that 212, 212 are not very well mastered, okay? They are not very well mastered. Then uh, relearning, uh, that means I have difficulties with two of them. 212 I have mastered, but they are relatively young. That means I didn't repeat them many times yet. Okay, now, for example, by now, I have forgotten probably many of them. So, uh, so I will have to uh, go through very uh, intensively. Review intervals. So uh, this is how many, uh, how many uh, I should review every day. Probably this is in delays until reviews are shown again. Okay, card ease. So here I see uh, what is the ease for me in the card. So I see that I have five cards that are 290% easy for me. But I also have one card, which is uh, very difficult for me. So I can click on that to find out what is that card. And it is the declination number nine for Nattu. This one is the most difficult for me in that collection. So this is what Anki does. Anki provides you with a very interesting, uh, with a uh, with a very interesting, you know, graphs. So here we also see at what time during the day I am most successful, and at what time it is most difficult for me. So I see that if I study from three to four p.m., I am about eighty percent correct. But if I study, uh, if I study from, uh, what's that? Let's see. I see that's, the, is that the time? 
Let's see. See, that's getting a little complicated for me. Uh -huh. Is this the 100? Okay, so basically, anytime I'm studying, if it is between, okay, so I don't understand that. Oh, I see. So here, this this is the line that I'm looking at. Okay, very well. So if I'm studying somewhere during this time, and that's usually the time that I'm studying Pali, well, then I get about, as you can see, about 80% correct. And um, uh, well, very rarely I'm studying at other times, as you can see. So this is very rare. Answer buttons. So uh, again, this is about how successful I am with the words, which buttons I use most. And then here would be data uh, about how much I add. So let's say in the last three months, uh, you see, I did not add new words since uh, 35 days ago. So I can see here how many new words I'm adding each day. So, for example, 63 days ago, I added 23 new cards. 62 days ago, I added 26 new cards. Then I added seven cards 61 days ago. Then I didn't add anything for a long time. Then 52 days ago, I added 45 new cards and so on and on. So I get a very interesting statistics here uh, to help me understand how regularly I'm studying. As you can see, I'm a very bad student. <laughs> I do not study regularly. So, um, and if I study regularly, it's very, uh, it's very temporary because I'm actually studying three languages these days. I'm studying Pali, French, and Vietnamese. So it's quite, <laughs> quite intensive. Thank you very much. Sad, sad, sad. Okay, any more question, any suggestion? All right, so next week we will repeat only uh, chapter 10. All right, only exercise 10. So you'll basically get the same test as you got before. So please do not uh, try to memorize the answers that were in the past. And uh, see if you can uh, look at the at the grammar, at the vocabulary. It will be the same thing, except it will be jumbled up. The uh, questions will be jumbled up. The answers will be jumbled up. But it will be exactly the same test. So I'm looking forward uh, to see some progress. I would like to suggest that uh, if you already know lesson 10 very well, you can start preparing lesson 11. Um, I have a very intensive schedule these days, but I think... I will be able to prepare also uh, lesson 11. Uh, I found a new way how to save time. And uh, then uh, uh, then we can uh, then we can uh, progress. So we'll go to higher lessons. Thank you very much for coming and for your patience and for support. As you can see, I'm learning just like you are. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be successful in everything you do. Thank you. Sadu, sadu, sadu.